know there are three types of rocks igneous rocks sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks igneous rocks are formed due to solidification and condensation of molten materials now we have already learned how these three different types of rocks are formed igneous rocks are formed due to solidification and condensation of molten materials sedimentary rocks are formed due to deposition and consolidation of sediments and finally metamorphic rocks are formed when the existing rocks gets transformed due to heat and pressure now here we have basalt basalt is an example of igneous rocks basalt gets transformed into cyst which is a type of metamorphic rock again limestone which is a type of sedimentary rock get transformed into marble which is again another type of metamorphic rock now not just igneous and sedimentary rocks but the metamorphic rocks itself gets transformed and form new metamorphic rocks for example cyst a type of metamorphic rock forms gneiss which is another type of metamorphic rocks thus these examples suggest that different types of rocks found on the earth's surface are correlated and these rocks continuously change form one form to another let us see how we know igneous rocks are the primary rocks that is the first rocks to be formed on the earth surface they are formed due to solidification and condensation of molten materials now these rocks eventually get eroded and weathered away to form sediments the sediments along with organic matter are deposited layer over layer these depositions are hardened as they are pressed by the overlying layers of sediments now they form sedimentary rocks now the pre-existing rocks like the igneous rocks and sedimentary rocks are transformed when they come under the influence of excessive heat and pressure of the earth's interior and gradually they form metamorphic rocks now all these rocks are furthered over time buried deeper inside the earth and they melt to form magma the magma eventually under the pressure of the earth's interior erupt as a volcano volcano again forms igneous rock and the cycle continues thus here we can see that each rock changes from one form to another and this is called rock cycle so here we have the complete picture of rock cycle here we say that igneous rocks are formed when the materials erupted from a volcano that is the molten materials solidify and form igneous rocks the igneous rocks are further denuded and weathered to form sediments the sediments are pressed over and become compact to form sedimentary rocks the sedimentary rocks eventually come under the influence of excessive heat and pressure and form metamorphic rocks metamorphic rocks again melts to form magma and the cycle continues now not just sedimentary rocks form metamorphic rocks but igneous rocks also form metamorphic rocks remember i discussed about the example of basalt basalt a type of igneous rocks gets metamorphosed into cyst which is a type of metamorphic rock thus igneous rocks also under the influence of heat and pressure gets metamorphosed into metamorphic rocks the igneous rocks also with time gets buried deeper into the earth and melts into magma again this magma under immense pressure erupts 
as volcano and flow as lava lava gradually condensify and form igneous rocks so from this picture we understand that the igneous rock not only form sedimentary rocks but they also form metamorphic rocks and they also melts into magma again look at this part of the picture see sedimentary rocks gets metamorphosed into metamorphic rock but sedimentary rocks are also denuded by natural forces like wind and water and they form sediments thus the sediments which forms the sedimentary rocks can be again denuded into sediments so the sedimentary rocks form metamorphic rocks and the sedimentary rocks also form sediments again over time the sedimentary rock go deeper into the earth and melt into magma this magma again comes out as lava through a volcano so the sedimentary rocks may form sediments the so sedimentary rocks may form metamorphic rocks and the sedimentary rocks may also melt into magma and eventually form igneous rocks now finally let us deal with metamorphic rocks as we already discussed metamorphic rocks melts into magma again these metamorphic rocks can be denuded by natural agents and form sediments these sediments eventually form sedimentary rocks so here we have the complete picture of rock cycle so what is a rock cycle a rock cycle is a continuous process that alters or transforms the old existing rocks and create new ones so rock cycle is a continuous process in which the existing rocks change and they form a new one and all the three different types of rocks that is igneous rocks sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks are correlated and they are formed during this process of rock cycle now before we proceed with the lesson can you help me to answer this the process of continuous change in rock type and simultaneous formation of new ones is called water cycle rock cycle metamorphism or life cycle well the correct answer is rock cycle as we just discussed that rock cycle is a continuous process in which existing rocks change and new rocks are formed in our previous lesson we discussed how rocks are widely used in the construction of sculptures and buildings like pyramids we have also seen that rocks are used in railway tracks thus we discussed that rocks are used by humans from prehistoric times till today thus rocks are very valuable to human beings so now let us discuss these importance of rocks we know rocks are subjected to weathering and erosion in this process the rocks disintegrate into smaller particles and form soil now this soil is also very valuable to us as they serve as the medium of growth for plants now here we have the examples of two most common soils alluvial soil and black soil Alluvial soil is very fertile and rich in humus thus it is ideal for cultivation of crops black soil is formed due to disintegration of igneous rocks and they are ideal for cultivating cotton crop here in this picture we can see that cotton crop is being grown on black soil rocks also provide us with valuable minerals here we have the picture of coal and petroleum now these are two different types of sedimentary rocks and these two type of sedimentary rocks serve as excellent fuels they help in locomotion and they are used as important energy resources in different industries rocks are also widely used in 
construction and manufacturing industries. Rocks are used to manufacture cement. Now cement is an important construction material. Again, another example is sandstone. Sandstone is used in the construction of buildings. Again, granite. is used in making worktops of kitchen and bathrooms. Thus, we can see that rocks are widely used for construction and manufacturing purposes. You must have seen women wearing jewelries. These jewelries are made of valuable metals like gold and silver. and precious stones like diamonds. Now, these valuable metals and precious stones are actually minerals which are obtained from rocks. Thus, we can obtain precious metals and stones from rocks which can be further used for making jewelries. Thus, in today's video, we have learned about rock cycle. What is a rock cycle? A rock cycle is a continuous process in which the existing rocks change and new rocks are formed. Next, we discussed about various importance of rocks. We learned that minerals obtained from rocks can be used for making jewelries. Rocks are also used in construction industries. Soil can be obtained from rocks and rocks also provides us with important fuels. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now